All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If this is your first time coming onto the channel, please consider subscribing. But now let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding none other than our friend Pepe. If you did watch my video about a few hours back, um, you know, about the overall market, um, you know, downwards trend that we're noticing right now, I kind of did discuss as to what's happening. You know, what is the reason, in my opinion, um, you know, behind this massive downwards trend for altcoins specifically? And you can see right now, Pepe is down about 10%, but majority of the market is also seeing a significant pullback. But let's take a closer look, see what is happening, and of course, what is yet to come. Just a quick reminder for everyone, I know people are continuing to forget the monthly uh, performance for Pepe up still 62.2%. And of course, on the yearly, we don't even need to talk about this. It is up quite substantially on the yearly time frame. But let's take a look at the price. The price is currently sitting at 1314, still about four zeros in front of the price, down about 10% in USD comparative and about 7% in both Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative over the past 24 hours. But now for focusing on its market cap, it's currently sitting at $5.5 billion and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at about $1.35 billion. So what we have seen is over the past, I would say 24 hours due to this dip, we did see Pepe lose about $500 million from its market cap. Um, so of course, you know, a significant pullback, 10% pullback is not a small pullback, especially for uh, coins with higher market caps. And Pepe now is considered, um, you know, as far as meme coins go, it is considered a large large uh, cap meme coin even in this uh, stage of its um, you know uh, presence um, I know of course a lot of people can come out and say that the overall performance for altcoins and meme coins we haven't even seen and it's true in some sense of course some people are going to come out and say you know Pepe still hasn't reached Shiba Inu's levels it still hasn't crossed 10 billion dollar mark but it still has about a six billion dollar market cap and that is not small by any means but let's continue to take a look at what's happening but before we do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so looking at the holder count again times like these times like these are extremely important they tell you so much about the project itself and you can see once again another day um, more holders um, increasing for the overall uh, Pepe community and again this is a huge uh, plus point that a lot of people still tend to ignore um, but I don't ignore this I love seeing this and what this shows me right now especially when the price of Pepe is down compared to where it was about one or two days back what this is showing is there is a lot of interest um, in terms of accumulation for Pepe even at the lower prices and again um, that is nice to see but let's take a look at what's happening with the broader meme coin market if you're looking at the broader meme coin market down about 6.4 percent so quite a substantial move just if you look at the top five meme coins if you combine just these five together um, and you know combine their market caps that has been wiped out over the past you know 24 hours that makes up a huge chunk of the uh, outflow of money that has gone out of the crypto space due to this dip that we're seeing but um, one thing i want you guys to notice is it's not just pepe because of course there's going to be some trolls that will come out here and comment specifically about pepe um, that oh look pepe is down well, why don't you take a look at the overall market everything is down at this point well let's take a look at what's happening with the price because of course that's what everyone is here for um see if we're noticing a trend what are some targets that we could be aiming so let's take a look at that if you did watch my update uh, which was a few hours back you know I kind of went over the entire market I indicated what happened with Bitcoin dominance you can see this for yourself you can't make it up Bitcoin dominance you know we were seeing dominance pretty much falling below things were looking absolutely exciting and just like that in a snap of a finger dominance went up to almost 55.7 percent and obviously we're seeing a little bit of a pullback in that but still you know it has gone up quite substantially and this can hurt altcoins um, you know, and that is what we're seeing happening right now, because if we're looking at BTC, of course, Bitcoin did have this uh, flash pullback as well. And I think this is uh, mainly due to, um, you know, manipulation that's occurring in the crypto space. You did see uh, BTC drop down about 68.4, uh, significant amount of support, of course, around here. But, you know, we did see that um, 
pretty much um, rejection around those resistance levels. So these are some factors that we need to keep in mind. A lot of people don't uh, understand this, but still, if you're looking at the bigger picture for Bitcoin, if you're taking a look at pretty much its performance from May, it is still up quite substantially. It's holding really, really good, but this should really give you the uh, power and the sense of how important Bitcoin price really is because, you know, this might not even mean a massive move to you. It's just a little bit of a pullback, but you can really see how much it has impacted impacted the altcoin market but now let's take a look at our good old friend pepe so what exactly has happened with pepe so of course it did end up losing that support line again this right here is the daily time frame for pepe so you know if you're looking at the daily time frame you take a look at the bigger picture uh, but i wanted to show you guys this of course if you're looking at it on the daily time frame we did end up losing the support obviously the entire market saw this retracement pepe is no exception it made its way all the way down to the 1188 zone uh, but that is where things really get interesting so if i were to switch our chart to the hourly let's take a look at what's really happening so again are we surprised we shouldn't be surprised at all um you know that we did see this massive pullback if you want to put this into perspective uh, you did see pepe fall about almost 20 percent made its way all the way down to this 1185 zone but now you guys are probably wondering crypto zx there's barely any support there's barely any support it's pretty much thin air after you know you lose the support at around the 1200 zone after that you know the next major support line is around the 1155 but we never really managed to retest that uh, reason being you know you are seeing quite a bit of buying pressure around these levels and on top of that Bitcoin is also rebounding so that is obviously really nice to see uh, but what you could see is uh, like I said there is a support around the 1199 maybe uh, a massive whale came and uh, you know dumped some more around here so the support did not hold for uh, quite uh, maybe I would say probably for the millisecond that you know this original wick occurred but you can see this now this is what I want you guys to take a look at look at this bounce back look at this bounce back and what is this telling us look at the correlation hold the count still increasing there believe it or not a lot of people have buy orders placed in for Pepe at cheaper levels and we could just take a look at it from this angle if you somehow timed this right got lucky got in Pepe around this step let's say you were on the sideline you did not want to pick it up around these levels uh, you wanted to uh, wait for a little bit of a retracement well if you got in as soon as the dip occurred you could see Pepe bounced back about 11% in a snap of a finger but right now what you're noticing uh, happening with Pepe's price is we do have some major resistance coming in its way and it's more around the uh, 1323 zone if this is able to break out I would not be surprised if Pepe starts making its way up to the um, you know key resistance levels around the 1400 zone quite fast so uh, what I'm projecting is this Pepe recovery could be very fast uh, you know considering uh, the overall momentum that we have seen uh, nothing is slow Going down obviously we did see the shakeout obviously we're going in the weekends we could see more manipulation uh, but it's extremely important with that being said that you know we reclaim back above these levels because if we're not able to reclaim above these levels we could retest the 1153 zone um, and now you probably are wondering crypto zx man you know that is crazy those are crazy uh, numbers we don't want to really talk about uh, we hope that does not happen uh, but what i want you guys to once again not forget is go back to april take a look at where pepe was if you compare it right now even after seeing a little bit of a retracement it's still up about 220 percent if you're noticing a pattern right now i'm sure you guys can pretty much see nothing goes up straight forever there always will be pullbacks and um, let's take a look at something i actually want to see uh, how big the original retracement was uh, back you know when uh, bitcoin happening was approaching so we did top out in march saw a pullback of about you could say i wouldn't even consider this wick all the way down because usually these massive wicks you guys can see they don't last too long but let's just say um you know we take it like this about 62 percent pullback and right now if you're comparing it from its all-time high we have seen a 30 percent pullback so could we go lower could we retest some other support levels absolutely next support line um you know major one is around the 1155 zone if this is not able to hold we could see uh, the price going down to the 1060 zone and um, obviously if bitcoin were to see a flash crash 
um, could we potentially retest uh, the 9108 zone? Again, let's take let's take a look at it because that is a significant um, you know support. So again, that would be an additional 30% drop. So could we see something like what we have seen in March leading up to uh, mid-April? Could we see something similar happen? Possibly. You know, we have seen a massive pullbacks even for Shiba Inu in the previous cycle, and then it made its way up to those crazy market valuations. And that's what you need to understand. And this is why I always give you reminders to lock in those profits. You know, don't listen to the trolls if you've done your due diligence research and have invested what you can afford to lose, and you're sitting at some massive amounts of gains. Guess what? Lock those profits in. You don't want to be listening to these trolls. At the end of the day, you are here to make profits. But do let me know down below what you guys think. I appreciate you guys' support. We'll be uh, giving you guys another update tomorrow. And with that being said, we'll see you tomorrow. It's been Crypto ZX and peace out.